you have to hear this. Okay, so I have to find that team, and that was uh, Diablo 18-2 game 2. And then what I'll do is, uh, let me move this up a little bit here. I'll click this, and I'll paste that URL in there. Okay, so I just copied that URL from YouTube into my video synchronizer. It's called Solo Stats Video, right? Now I click OK, and then what I'm looking for is the first play is Stephanie makes an, a serve error. So let's see if I can make this video up. Okay, so what I have to do is just synchronize the first action, and then from there, because everything is time logged, and this is taken in real time, the static is done in real time. Okay, so there's the error. All right, so now all I have to do is I can stop this, and then I hit synchronize. You see the check marks on the side, right? That indicates all those points are synchronized. Now, some of it might be a little bit off. It just depends on sort of how accurately your, your timing is when, when you're putting the stats in. But that's how fast it is. We're done. Okay. So now that video is synchronized. So we can go back here and say, let's look for something like, uh, I don't know, let's play Kendall. Kendall serving an ace. Let's see if it works. And if this is done right, there's Kendall. All right. Go back. 15 bounces, and she gets the second ace. Yes, goes off the quick board. Okay? So that's how fast it is. Now, once you have this, here's where the power kicks in, right? You can go to the filter section, and you can look for specific players. So let's look at my middle hitter, who I've talked about a little bit here. We're going to go in all rotations, and we're going to look at, um, so we've got, so we got uh, the players, the rotations, uh, the in-rally plays, the earned points, the errors, and the faults. So you can isolate on anything that you want on any combination here. Okay? This is basically doing a database query and pulling those values out. And it's giving you all the links to those values. So in this case, I want to just look at her making, uh, let me make kills here. Okay. So the results page looks like this, right? So let's see how many there are. Uh, there's a few, but only a couple of them have videos linked to them. It wasn't a full set here. So let's get the videos at the top. We don't want to do scrimmages. All right, so let's try this one. Okay, so there's a pass. There's a set. Okay. So there's a kill, right? Let's try another one. Oh, let's see. Let's try this one. Okay. So again, you can see how you can isolate on the videos, and this is across a whole bunch of different teams and matches. You notice the list, right? These are matches from all over the place, you know, from one tournament to the next tournament. Once you have about 10 matches, now you have enough data to start looking. Once you get to, you know, beyond that, then it's just a big library that you can use to, to isolate on specific actions, right? But the synchronization process is really, really simple, and it allows you now to see the problem. So you use your rotational analysis to find the problem, and then you look at the video to actually look at the problem and see if there's anything there you can fix easily. Right? Sometimes it's just a positional problem where two players are you know, kind of a little bit off. In fact, I had one the prior season where uh, the same girl, Francesca, was missing a bunch of balls in rotation two. And her reason turned out was, ro ro yeah, rotation two is when the players are stacked, right? Well, she's a quiet girl, okay? And so the middle and the opposite were at the net blocking her view. And instead of telling them to get over, she moved in. She was six feet in the court. Balls were landing over there, right? So I showed them the video and I said, guys, you know, be nice to her, get out of the way so she can see. Look, turn around and look at her, not the other player, and see you know, if you're blocking her line of sight, right? But little stuff like that is like, you know, because it wasn't happening often enough, I didn't catch it. You know, because it was like, oh, what happened just now? You know, because it occurred like three times all across like, like two tournaments. And yet when I looked it up in the data, things was like, wow, this is glaring. What's going on here? Because, you know, it doesn't miss that many balls. So anyway, that's an example, again, of being able to use the, the, uh, the software to track down the issues. Okay. So is this your proprietary tagging, or is this like an overlay of easy tag or something like that? Uh, it's, it's proprietary, but, but it's really simple. It's just a time log and, and, and a stat against a time log. So every time you, you uh, use the app and, you know, tap the button, it's, it's using the clock you know, in, in the device and it'll timestamp it specifically. And it'll, so you'll know, like, you know, it's like uh, you know, 
1232 and two seconds or something. Which is the same way you can work. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's only so many things you can do this, right? Right. I mean, exactly. it, you know, literally be translated into whatever format you needed to do that. Um, so, okay. I think we're done. I want to explore your All right, so just uh, questions? Happy to answer. Mm -hmm. yeah. I came in here. This is all free? Is it? Uh, no, no, it's not all free. <laughs> 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 Good try. Well, yeah. Uh, so, so um, SolarStats uh, is free still right now. But it will go to a paid model starting September 1. We've been free for a year and a half now. And the reason is we've, we've been wanting to get a lot of people to get their hands on it to just try it. And we've had a massive number of downloads. I think we've had about 30,000 downloads. So people are downloading twice or three times. I don't know what it is. But, uh, uh, so it'll be uh, $4.99 for the basic version. And then it'll be $12.99 for the more advanced version. The advanced version has a number of other features. Now. I'll show you the killer in a second. The other products, Web Reports is $30 per year, and then Rotate123, which is for doing the rotational stuff, is $30 a year. Okay, but there's two versions of that. There's a more, there's a higher level version at 65 that allows you to do uh, matchups against your competition. It's really useful when you're in a league situation where you see the opponent regularly, and particularly for college coaches who do a lot of, a lot of scouting. The, the video product will be about 60 bucks, but right now it's in beta, so if you get a hold of me, I'll, I'll you know, pitch it for free. And you can try it and you know, see if you like it. All I need is an iPad to do this. Uh, yeah, all you need is a smartphone, actually. Uh, and it's just a question of, like, how good are your eyes? You know, so if you have something this big, you know, you can see everything. <laughs> but if I have an iPad, uh, iPad's easier. Uh, you can use any you know Android device. There's like the Nexus is a seven-inch device. It's way cheaper than an iPad. Uh, frankly, I buy all. I'm a computer guy. I've been in the industry for a long time. I buy everything used through Amazon, used or refurbed through Amazon, because you can get stuff really cheap. Like an iPad 2, I've seen it listed as low as 170. Uh, so, and the nice part is Amazon. If it comes in, it's not working right. Put it. The stop, no, the app, they leave a return pass and everything else, it's right back to them. No problem at all, no questions asked. So you don't have to worry about you know, things not working right. Oh. Right, so um, let me just show you just a couple things here. Um, so the way this product works, right, is you enter the player and then you enter the action. Um, it's like that, it's that simple. So the green buttons are the, the earned scores, the orange ones are uh, errors, and then false are the ones that the ref pulls the whistle. Really simple to use. Uh, girls on my team regularly take it away from my assistant coach because they think it's fun, because it's so colorful. And so, uh, you know, it's really, really straightforward. Um, let me show you the other mode here. Now, the advanced version um, has a couple of things. Uh, oh. Contact rally, you've got six tabs. I mean, you got player, action, player, action, player, action. You know, blitz setter and everything. Uh, if, if you're if you're tracking, oh no no, the, the, you're saying the setter part? Or no, I didn't see. Okay. Is it just as you're? It's, it's as per you're contact. Uh, if you want to do all the in rally stuff, uh, we have a different mode in the upper version where you just tap the, the button that's next to the player, so you don't have to touch the player at all. Yeah. So it makes that process faster, and that's one of the things that we've improved with the product. Uh, the other thing that, that's an uh, improvement is um, okay. I know what happened. Uh, I think <laughs> I think my I, I want a demo version of subscription expired on me, so I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't show you the pro feature. But the other thing we have is a, a bunch of uh, match stats, and one of the core match stats that we have is a point tree that shows you how you got to 25 or whatever the number is and your opponent. And it lines up the kills, the hitting errors, 
the uh, receives, receive, receive errors basis, right? And it shows you every single one of the key point categories. So you can quickly look at it during the game and figure out, are you serving tough enough? You know, are you not receiving well? Are you hitting well? You know, give you a quick idea of like where the problem is and be able to make some tweaks according to that. So what's the biggest difference between the regular version and the advanced version? The, the fast rally buttons, which okay. puts just seven players on the court. Right now, you see all the players. Yeah. So you just have seven players, and you'll have the digging button, the in rally buttons right next to the players. So you don't have to find the player at all. You just enter the, the, the value. Okay. And then, and then the uh, match stats are in there. The match stats are not part of the regular product. The regular product just has game stats, but there's no aggregate match stats. <coughs> it doesn't like, oh, I see yeah. does it like, when you do the web, web reports, does it allow you to like distinguish because we have many games in Absolutely. It, it you, you can pick all the way down to uh, a set. Okay. So if you want to just look at the second set, because that's a different lineup, yeah. right? Like you, know, you have lineup A versus B. It just runs like a database. So you can yeah, it's just a list. That you, can, you can click on the ones you want, okay. and then just look at that aggregation. Okay. Right. So I tend to look at, I, I, actually, the nice part of it, because it's a website, you can open multiple windows. Yeah. So I open it twice, right. and I put tournament A, five matches, and tournament B, five matches, and I look at a comparison of the two, and okay. see if we're making progress in, in key areas. Okay. Yeah. I just want to be clear on the price. So it's four hundred ninety-nine dollars for the standard. Four dollars and ninety-nine cents. Okay. Oh, we don't charge cute. anything over sixty dollars right now. This is twelve oh, yeah. dollars and ninety-nine. I thought it was four hundred ninety-nine. No, no, no. <laughs> well, that, no, no. Well, that's where I was. I'm glad you clarified. I know. Well, I, like, I, I, I was didn't like, think like, okay, now I know why I used the competitor's product. That was at four dollars and ninety-nine cents. I'm not trying to be insulting. No, we're not data volume, okay? So we're not involved in multi-digit things. Yeah. We're trying to build products, right, that people can use easily, yeah. right, and are affordable. Because I'm a coach just like you, same area, right? I do, you know, high school and club. And, you know, the key thing we're trying to do is I want you to avoid having to do paperwork. Because once you start doing that, yes. you're eating a ton, okay? So if you need a report <laughs> that's not here, you send me an email, we'll build it. All right, that's the way we function. because. All the reports that are in here come from my experience of the things I want now, and I don't want to open Excel. When I open Excel, I lost an hour. Boom, it's gone, right? And we're going to pro we'll provide things like export to Excel and all those things. I don't want you to use that. I'd rather you contact me and say, I need this kind of a report. Can you do it? And I'll tell you whether or not I can do that. Because right, this is about efficiency. You know, everything I'm talking about is right, time savings, and I want that time savings to include planning. So you're not you know, sticking around doing all these extra work when you, when you shouldn't have to do that. The insight should be easy to come by. And that's why the application design is what, you know, this, this product here, you know, the girls on my team regularly train themselves because they just better start doing it. And now, you know, if my assistant coach is late or something, they take over, they do the stat work. All right, so we get all the numbers that we need. Yeah. Yeah. You're a coach that's never really gotten into statistics. Are there huh? definitions? Is there like a tutorial in there that we can? Uh, yes, there is actually. In fact, I, uh, one of the things that we'll be shipping, hopefully, in the next few days is an entire tutorial package of the mini session I just showed you, but it's like about four hours worth of stuff. Okay, it'll take you through all the stuff in detail, starting with the basics of rotation optimization. It's the most important thing you can do. And so start with the basic stats, and when you take stats, all you have to do is take the end of rally plus the passing, the, the serve receive stat, which is very easy to do, and not worry about the touches initially. The other thing to do is, um, what I do on my team is because we have this issue with you know, different coaches and stuff like that, I have the girls tabulate on paper. One girl does digs, one girl does swings. Just hitting attempts, not the terminations. Okay? And then you can enter that in web reports of the area to, that you can actually put that hand stuff into there by hand. And, and then you get all the numbers that you want without having to train anybody. Because the problem is once you start doing in-rally stuff, unless you have somebody who's pretty quick, uh, there, you get errors. Or you, or you just don't get them all, mm -hmm. right. right? And if you get half a stat, then all of a sudden the hitting efficiency is way off. Because mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the denominator is like supposed to be 15 and it's five. You know, so they got a huge hitting number when they shouldn't. So we do it on paper. Uh, and soon, once we get this version out, we'll have a version for uh, phones that you just be a phone tabulator like this. All you gotta do is hit the button. Merge. It'll merge automatically with the server. Yeah, I, I need that because I hate, I hate doing I, this paperwork too. So you know, it's like that's still extra work for me. So everything I don't want to do, I'm going to get rid of as fast as possible as soon as we get the next you know, engineer available to do the coding. But you know, we only have so many people, so it's kind of hard. Did you give us your email address? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
sometimes? Or? It's, uh, you can... Uh, What's well, on the bottom of this, I think, Kyle and Rotate? Yeah, it's Kyle and Rotate, right? Okay. And also, uh, okay. you have parts here. So if I go to www.solvostats123.com with my Visa card and my iPad, I can download your thing for four dollars and ninety-nine cents and get uh, it for No, no, you can, you can. Um, you can go get it for no, free you, now. You, you go to the App Store and download it right now for free. For free. Oh. So there's nothing to do. Until September first. And then also, if you want uh, yeah. copies of the slides uh, yeah. and such, just uh, just email me. Oh, okay. yeah, Kyle Thanks, Kyle. Thanks for doing this extra session for us. Yeah, no, because you know, with the overlap, it's kind of hard to do Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm trying to, hey, Kyle, I'm trying to understand this. Can you do glasses? Do they have glasses? Yes. Uh, there's two, okay. so you have a block assist if you score, and there's a block still in play. But when you do the still in play one, there's no assist on the okay. Well, there wouldn't be one. If it's yeah, still right. in play. But, but it, well, you, you could do it. A block is technically only oh, a block that terminates at a point. No, 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 but if you're tracking touches, yes. right, there's a block still in play yeah. feature in here now, right? Because of that request, and sometimes sure, yeah. two people so touch the ball. Exactly. Yes. So, so. That's a problem. But the, the actual terminating one, you hit the assist button after you hit the first person, and you tag after. And then you change. Yeah. Okay. That's and it works the same way for assist. I don't know. For set assist, yes. if it's you, you allocate the setter initially and set up, but if it's not that person, then you can assign it to that person after the kill. Yeah. You hit the assist button, and you hit the person. Because sometimes that person is your opponent. Right. Right. So if you put their player, if it's an overpass, right. for an overpass. Right. 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 Okay. Thank you. I was trying to, because I, I, I've used both yours and volleyball stats or whatever you think the other one is. I forgot what it's called, but volleyball stats. Yeah. Because this, this screen somewhat confused me as far as my set of rotations. Okay. Right? Yep. I mean, if I'm running a, if I'm running a standard 6-2, right. then you, she's likely going to be in rotation 1, 2, 3, and setter 2 is going to be in 4, 5, and 6. That's correct. So I don't understand why I need to do that. Once I determine the rotation, shouldn't it automatically understand that? Yeah, if, if you're running the rotation in a standard way, yes. Okay. But you may not be. So that's why you have this option. Okay. Because as an example, um, I start my system in a 5-1, in a rotating into a 6-2, and it depends on where I am in that system. So it doesn't all, always go all the way around. So that allows you to do some tweaking on there. If, if, if say, the player maybe actually sets out of a 5-1, out of one of the three rotations in the front, Okay. So this just better happen. But then, you're right. I mean, for, for, is there a way for me to see that fast rally button without? I mean, I know you can't do it, but is there a way? Like I downloaded it here. Is there a way for me to see? Oh, it? not on that. I'll have to send you a copy because it's new. It's okay. not in there yet. Okay. Yeah. If you send me, um, because the other program frankly works fine for me, but I'd like to tag video with it. Oh, so yeah. I've, you yeah. know, when I was out getting my cap three, it's like, oh well, you know, use easy tag, do this, it's that. And it's like, okay, I can do all that. Now I only need is five more people on my staff, right, and exactly. I'll be all set. Right. You know, it's like so. Yeah. If I could do that, if I can just set up the camera and let it go, yeah. I can easy tag it or use your thing and tag it that way. And email me and and just make the request about the pro, and I'll get a build for you. Okay. Uh, you're on an iPhone. No, that's Android. Oh, okay, that's better. Because I can send you that immediately. The problem with the Apple is Apple restricts uh, free copies because they don't want you one on the store. So I have to actually build a version for you with tied to your device. Right. So it's a total pain. I know. I'm a CIO. I'm all about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm kind of technologically illiterate. No, no problem. I literally just got an iPad for Father's Day. And, uh, That's good. Wow. What a good deal. Yeah. You're an enemy. I'm going to, Julian, I'll make it simple for you. Download the program. Right. Find one of your kids and hand it to her. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and say here. <laughs> go. Because that's I what I did and it worked splendidly. Because I'm, I'm sitting there going like this, but I, but trying to coach and look at the game, right? and she's I mean, goes, I've got You're too slow. The name, the number. I mean, there's, there's commands that go with that. Yeah. Right? But you know what? That. Uh, what, what, it's, what, what, it's very what, intuitive what, once really you get it set up. It's very intuitive. Let me show you something really important, okay? I'm sorry. All this stuff is all fine and dandy, except everybody's got questions. So there's video tutorials for everything we have, right? And it'll literally walk you through you know, all this stuff so you don't have to like figure it out.
because you know, again, I don't want you to have to figure it out. It's like too much work. So if you go here, um, if you go here to this learning center tab, there's a whole bunch of videos here. So uh, you just scroll down. Actually, you can scroll. Just click on. Okay. And it's there, right? So it'll take you through yeah. setup and every single aspect of the product, right? And it's very straightforward. And once you get going, you know, I mean, it's true, your kid'll figure it out instantly. But yeah, this, uh, this process is very straightforward. Yeah. I mean, where I'm coming from is that you know those lover spreadsheets, the no. ones, they use that. Okay. So you know, I have kids that they, you know, they wait and I eat, 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 you know, in certain cases, yeah, 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 yeah. Like that. Yeah. So I've been looking yeah. for something that's a little techy. Yeah. That's an expensive. So yeah. I get the solo stats, and how does that link to road tape? It doesn't matter. Road tape is separate from it. Road tape is for doing formations. And if and you do that manually in road tape, road tape's got a whole bunch of templates for specific rotation styles, okay. but it generates them on the plot. Okay, so I, right. I, I do solo stats. I mean, I'm just thinking. Yeah. Yeah. I got my first scrimmage yeah. at 17, so I do my scrimmage at 17, I plug in the rotation, I got my stats, yeah. and then at 18, <laughs> I dump it, I find out, mm, I got <laughs> issues. Right. And I somehow get to rotate, and it allows me to analyze what I'm doing wrong, or what no, I need to do, what I can do to optimize my... Yeah, what you want to do is look at the numbers first, okay. yeah. and then use those numbers to think about the rotation, and no, I mean, maybe you want to sell somebody, maybe you want to tweak the positions, maybe you want to have the hitting occur differently. Mm -hmm. right. So as an example, uh, a great example is rotation one. Rotation one is the worst rotation of all six rotations for the center because the setter is coming from a long distance from the back, and your hitters are the wrong side, right? So your outside hitters are the right, your opposite on the left, right? So on my team, we just dumped it half season because we stacked everybody to the left, and I made the opposite run around because my outsides were way.